Welcome to On-Demand Learning for FlowCam 8000. In this video, we will demonstrate the proper way to install and remove the pump syringe hardware component using FlowCam's operation software visual spreadsheet. We will first describe how to install the pump syringe, and then we will describe how to remove the pump syringe. To install the pump syringe, you will go to Visual Spreadsheet's main window and from the Setup menu, choose the Fluidics option. This will open the Fluidics dialog box where you will find the Change button. When you click on the Change button, a Change Syringe dialog box appears, asking you if you want to change the syringe. When you click Yes, the next dialog box instructs you to loosen the plunger lock screw by turning it three times counterclockwise. The purpose for doing this step is to ensure that the tip of the lock screw is fully cleared from the pump arm socket without completely removing the screw. In this way, the pump socket is prepared to accept the syringe during installation without any obstruction. Upon clicking OK, the pump arm will automatically lower. The instrument is now ready for syringe installation. In your hardware and accessories case, you will find your magnifying objective lenses, microfluidic tubings, FOV flow cells, and pump syringes. Your flow cam is calibrated at each magnification with defined accessory pairings. You can find this chart in the FlowCam 8000 series configuration guide, a technical note in your desktop resource folder. In this demonstration, we will be using the 10x magnification lens with the FOV100 flow cell and the 1mm syringe. Remove the syringe from its protective case and confirm the syringe volume by checking the label printed on the syringe barrel. To install the syringe, hold the syringe by the syringe barrel screw and carefully align the screw with the threaded hole at the bottom of the pump manifold. Using your other hand to stabilize the syringe alignment, continue to screw the syringe into the manifold until securely tightened. Then, carefully draw the plunger arm and fully seat the plunger head into the pump arm socket. Another way to install the pump syringe is to first pull the plunger arm out of the barrel about halfway, and then seat the plunger arm head directly into the pump arm socket. With one hand securing the plunger arm in place, use the other hand to raise the syringe barrel and securely thread the syringe barrel screw into the pump manifold. Remember to check that the plunger arm head is fully seated in the pump arm socket. Do not tighten the plunger lock screw yet. Go back to Visual Spreadsheet and click OK. The pump arm will automatically rise. At this point, a dialog box appears instructing you to tighten the plunger lock screw. Once the lock screw is secure, you may then click OK. In the next dialog, you will select the appropriate syringe volume size from the drop menu of options. In our demonstration, we have installed the 1mm syringe. Once this is selected, click OK and simply close the Fluidics dialog box. The installation of the pump syringe is now complete. To remove the pump syringe, you will go to the Visual Spreadsheet main window and in the Setup menu, choose the Fluidics option. This will open the Fluidics dialog box where you will find the Change button. When you click on the Change button, a dialog box appears asking you if you want to change the syringe. Clicking OK, leads to the next dialog box instructing you to loosen the plunger lock screw. By turning the screw at least three times counterclockwise, the plunger arm will be unlocked from the pump arm socket. When you click OK, the pump arm will automatically lower and the syringe will be released from the pump arm. The next dialog box instructs you to remove the syringe by unscrewing it from the pump manifold. Once the syringe is removed and you click OK, the Install New Syringe dialog appears. Even though you are not installing a new syringe at this time, 
you can click OK. The pump arm will automatically rise, and following the instructions in the next dialog, you can tighten the plunger lock screw, click OK, and close the Fluidix dialog box. Removing the pump syringe is now complete. Please return the pump syringe to its protective case and store it in the hardware and accessories case until its next use.